Tees feedlot in Condamine, Queensland, is a 30,000 head facility supplying grain-fed cattle to the Tees abattoirs along the east coast of Australia. Tees are the second largest lot feeder in Australia and, and one of the largest meat processors in the country and I think that that position really comes with some responsibility and, and we choose to take a position that we would like to be uh, leaders in the red meat industry in Australia around sustainability right across the supply chain. Tees participated in the Energy Savers program in 2015, a partnership between Ergon Energy and the Queensland Farmers Federation. The Condamine feedlot then engaged specialist energy and carbon management consultancy Energetics to complete an audit of their site with the aim of reducing energy consumption and operating costs. That gave us visibility over where all the energy was being used, what the costs are and what opportunities were about as well. And from that we prioritise those opportunities, um, assess them on their own merits. And in the instance of a solar farm we actually decided to go even bigger than what was recommended here after we had done the energy efficiency projects. So those two things coming together have driven a really good outcome at this facility. Tees developed a 300 kilowatt system that was designed around the energy needs of the plant, offsetting their reliance on grid electricity as well as significantly reducing their carbon footprint. After careful planning and consideration, they decided on a hybrid system, using both roof and ground mounted panels. And the reason we chose that was the integration with the existing electrical infrastructure in terms of its proximity um, and also achieving the, the lowest cost outcome that would provide the most value to the business. We also had a really big consideration for dust, so obviously feedlots are a really dusty environment. Um, we reviewed different panel technologies and in this instance we actually went with a frameless design um, to help mitigate risk of dust settling on those panels. The system is monitored and controlled by the site general manager through an app which shows real-time data of the system's operations. So the, the main usage of the solar power is, is running our four steam flat roller mills, um, our, our batching system here, all grain transfers, milling um, grain intakes, right down to uh, the PCs running in our main office in our Weybridge. So uh, right through to the, the water we're pumping for these cattle, everything is, uh, is being provided at some stage through the day. Made up of over 1,000 solar panels, the system was first turned on in November 2017, and Tees have witnessed exceptional results throughout the year, generating a staggering 506,000 kilowatt hours, or enough energy to power 77 homes. This reduced the site's reliance on grid electricity by 35% per day in winter, and up to 50% in summer. Yes, yeah, so I'm really proud that um, over a three year period through both energy efficiency and renewables we've been able to reduce the utility costs of this site by 40% which is a massive win uh, for the business and the ongoing sustainability of the operation. I think most people know that Tees Australia is a family owned business and I think they really take that family mentality uh, right into their operations and, and it affects the way that we look at sustainability. We think about it as the legacy that we leave for the future generations. It's more than just the productivity that we have today. It's about the sustainability of those activities um, and the future of the company and the environment that we operate.